Okay. <laughs> One of the things you said on Sunday, I just need um, you to shed more light on it. Um, the fact that the scriptures are not subject to your to our situations and circumstances, so we cannot. No, no, no. The scriptures, I, I, I said, the, the biblical, a biblical interpretation cannot be subjected to the whims of civilization and modernity. Yes. Yeah? But can be applied to. That means I can apply the, the scripture to my situation, but I cannot subject it to favor me. Let me give you an example. So because I want to preach something against a sister who's wearing... No, very trouser. I will now go to Deuteronomy chapter 22 and now call, make some other scripture to concord something, to subject it to that situation. Yeah. No, that's not what the scripture is. The scripture is applied. For the Bible says, no scripture is for personal interpretation. So the scripture cannot mean to you today what it did not mean to its original audience. So if the original audience, they say, by the stripes of Jesus, you were healed. So to you, by the stripes of Jesus, I am already healed. Yeah? But I cannot now use the scripture, you know, and it's, I'm, I'm actually dealing with incidences there. So people who read the scripture out of context just to prove a point. So that is you trying to bend the scripture to subject it. It can be applied to the situation, not subjected to the situation. You understand what I'm saying? I'll give you another example. It will be, um, what do you guys help me? You know how people just... Read, okay, let me give you one. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. That has been subjected to offering. That is not an offering scripture. <laughs> <She's gonna say. laughs> That's not an offering. Uncle Perry, please put the scripture up for me. Let me do this. You know, every time, like the Bible says, if you give good measure, President, shake God. No, no. The contextualization of that scripture has nothing to do with offering. Jesus was teaching forgiveness under the law. <laughs> okay. So give and it shall be given unto you. Okay. So let's go to from verse 30. Sorry. Let's go to from verse 30. Maybe that you read the context. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. 31. And as you would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. Men, for if you love them which love you, what thank have you for sinners also love those who love them? Next. And if you do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sinners also do even to the same. Continue. And if you lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners and receive as such as much again. But ye, but love ye your enemies. Watch this. But love ye your enemies and do good and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest, for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. Next. Be ye therefore merciful. Jesus is teaching forgiveness under the law. Be ye therefore merciful, as your father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be under the law, next, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together. Forgive, eh? Uh, and running over shall men give unto your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal, it shall be measured to you. So if you use this one to give, do giving, it means that if you give five naira, see I'm now, for with the same measure. This woman put hand for head, but you know, <laughs> you know, Sam. <laughs> but he says, but with the same measure that he. One. <laughs> this, this for himself. <laughs> so if you give one derica, God give you back one derica. Is that what God does for us? No. <laughs> Sam, now, we told it shall be measured to you again. 
Next verse. Next verse, 39. And he spake a parable unto them. Can the blind lead the blind? So he dealt with forgiveness. He was saying, Jesus was teaching forgiveness under the law. If you have it in another um, gospel, it will be clearer for you. If you can give me the same scripture in another gospel. So, but we've now used it to teach giving. But it's out of context. It's not a giving scripture. Jesus was teaching forgiveness under the law. So, let me, so let's go back to the interpretation. What that scripture did not mean to its original audience, it cannot mean to us. <laughs> Give, it will come back to you. Good measure, shaking together. Give to the Lord. Don't pick on people, jump on the, don't, don't pick on people, jump on their failures, criticize their faults, unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Hmm? Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can bumerang. Be easy on people, you'll find life a lot easier. See verse 38 now. Give away your life, you will find life giving back. But not merely giving back, give back with bonus and blessing. Give, not give, not getting in the way. Generous, be, generosity begets generosity. What he was talking about is the forgiveness in context. Not, not, I don't need a translation. I need in another gospel. Maybe in Matthew, in Mark. That's what I meant. Not this one. This won't give you. So when, you, when, you, when you're teaching giving, you, you, t- you, you want to teach properly from, you know, places in the Bible. Yeah? Like... Um, Money is the root of all evil. It's not in the Bible. But when we want to teach people that money is not good, that's what we use. The Bible says the love of money. And so the scripture cannot mean to you today what it did not mean to its original audience. So if the original audience of the scripture did not do deliverance service, I don't know why I should be doing deliverance service. Doesn't, doesn't that make sense to you? They did revelation meetings. Kadosh. That the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. That you may know. You may know. Everything you see in, in Paul. Know. Know in him. Through him. Ephesians. Colossians. Know. Know. Galatians. May, I'm thinking maybe in the month of August. I would deal with the book of Galatians every Wednesday. After we're done praying. Because Galatians is to the Gentiles what Hebrew is to the Jews. It's good stuff. I just told you. Very deep stuff. If you know what Hebrews is to the Jews, Galatians is to the Gentiles. What Hebrews is to the Jews. Deep stuff. Okay, any other question? But, Carol, do you have an idea? You, you get what I'm saying? So, you can't manipulate the Bible to now favor you. No, you can't do that. You must understand what the Bible is saying and know how to apply it, not subject it to it. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Did you read the next verse? For it is God who works in me both to will and to do. And it was actually the next verse, but I never saw it for a long time until I started studying the Bible for myself. And I saw, ah, contextually it's there. 